Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Global Energy Metals a channel offering investment exposure to the growing rechargeable battery and electric vehicle market by building a globally diversified portfolio of exploration and growth stage battery uh, metal assets. And we always have the pleasure to be joined by the Chief Executive Officer, Mitchell Smith. Welcome back, sir. Excellent. Thanks very much for, uh, for having me and Global Energy. Always a pleasure to kind of get some in-depth knowledge because you guys are releasing news like it's going out of style with your uh, your global assets here. So we might as well kick this off as Global Energy Metals uh, provided an update on the completion of the partner-funded phase one drilling at the uh, Millennium Cobalt Copper and Gold Project in your uh, Queensland, Australia location. Give us a little bit of a clerical insight on that. Sure. Um, yeah, like you said, I mean, we're, 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 we're very fortunate. We have a, a, a number of projects uh, uh, located across the world and have um, very strong partnerships uh, advancing those uh, uh, assets on uh, on our behalf. Um, so with Millennium, um, you know, very prospective uh, cobalt copper gold project in uh, in Mount Isa in in, uh, in Queensland. Uh, we've partnered with a group called Metal Bank, who are uh, fully funding um, exploration uh, at that uh, at the project. So they just completed a. Um, a drill campaign, RC drill campaign there, uh, and they're moving right into the next um, next step of uh, drilling uh, both the central and, and southern zone, um, given the uh, the excellent results that they've seen uh, so far at, uh, at site. And then uh, also moving forward there, I mean, you announced the uh, filing of a technical report for the uh, Monument oh. Copper Silver Gold Project in uh, your Idaho uh, location in the USA there. Yeah, it's a great milestone again for for the company uh, filing of the technical technical report uh, for Monument Peak. Uh, just uh, you know, really shows the 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 opportunity that that project uh, presents. Uh, highly uh, prospective for again for copper, uh, silver, and and gold, uh, and of course in a in a fantastic jurisdiction to uh, to conduct uh, uh, mining operations in. So we're. We're working with uh, Daruj uh, Geological, who are the um, other uh, part owners in, in the project, um, to move that project forward uh, as well. Now, you're also uh, in the final stages at your uh, Nevada project here, too, moving into the summer. Uh, what's going on with that? Yeah, so we're, we're just in the final stages of planning an uh, exploration um, uh, program uh, there at, uh, at both Lovelock and, and Treasure Box. Um, all uh, with the outlook of culminating in a uh, in a drill campaign uh, to uh, further delineate some of the targets that we've identified to date. Uh, we're working with a group called Gold Spot uh, Discoveries, uh, who are using AI and machine learning uh, technologies to to help um, uh, target uh, some of these high priority uh, regions um, uh, areas within the. Uh, within the land package, uh, and and really um, uh, better understand the uh, the the opportunity that we have there, uh, given a, a successful drill campaign that we did a few months ago, um, and looking to uh, continue on our efforts there and uh, um, keep uh, building out the exposure to cobalt, nickel, and copper, which are obviously in such high demand right now with uh, with battery uh, uh, and EV uh, space taking off. Well, on that note, uh, I definitely look forward to seeing uh, some more of these results and uh, news come out about these projects. So I'm going to pass the question off to the viewers at this point. We'd love to know what you guys think about all of this in that comment section below. Consider subscribing because obviously as that news hits the wire, we're going to update you here. But on that, stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, I look forward to catching you in the next one.